Hi, welcome back. This is Column Method Subtraction Level 5 from Maths from Scratch, and uh, this is the fifth video in our series on Column Method Subtraction. So without further ado, let's crack on and learn what Level 5 or Step 5 is all about. Now, as you can see on this one, on the first example, we've got 600 at the top. Now, what Level 5 is teaching us today is what happens when we have to do a chain of borrowing. So this is like a new thing that we have to look out for when we're doing Column Method Subtraction. Level 4, we were dealing with double borrowing double borrowing or double compensating. This one, we're going to look at what happens when we've got two zeros and we have to set up a chain of borrowing, I like to call it. So enough of me talking, let's crack on with it. So our first column is a zero. And as you know, when we're doing column method subtraction, we have to check that the top number is smaller than the bottom. Now, in this case, zero is not smaller than the bottom. So we have to carry it or we have to borrow. Now, if we look at our tens column, there's nothing to borrow from. There's nothing there. So what we do is we then borrow from this one. And then you'll see we're going to set up a chain of borrows. Okay. So we're going to borrow from this one. So this is going to be a 5. And then we're going to move this 10 over here. Cancel that one through. That now becomes a 9. And then this one then gets borrowed onto this one. So now we have a 10 here. So 10 subtract 3. Well, that gives me an answer of 7. And then the tens column, 9 subtract 2, gives me an answer of 7 again. And then the hundreds column, 5 subtract 1, that gives me 4. So the, so the answer to example number 1 is 477. And so what we're looking at now is we have actually set up a chain. Okay, And this is the bit that we're interested in, kind of taking a number from this side and then kind of moving it on step by step. Right, so then let's move on to example 2. So likewise, start with the units column, 0, take away 3. Well, 0 take away 3, 0 is too small, so we're going to have to carry. But if we look to our left, there's nothing to carry from. So then let's look, look to our left again. Oh, there's nothing to carry from either. So you just keep going until you find, find a number that you can carry from. So we're going to reduce this 7 and make it a 6. And so the 1 that I've taken from there, I'm going to write next to the 10 there in the hundreds column. And then I can now, I can now reduce this one by 1 because it's a 10. Make that a 9. And so the 1 from that then lives in the tens column. I can now reduce that one by one. That now becomes a nine. And then the one from that can live next to the units column. And now we can carry on as before. 10 take away three, well that becomes seven. Then the tens column, nine, sub nine subtract nine, that's nothing, or zero. Hundreds column, nine subtract one, that gives me an eight. And then finally the thousands column, six subtract three, and that gives me three. And so the answer to question two is 3,807, okay? And so this is, and so level five, remember, is all about being able to set up your chain of carries or your chain of borrows or your chain of compensations, whatever you want to call it, you're going to have to set up a chain on these. Three subtract four, again, we can't do, so it's smaller, so we have to now borrow, but we can't borrow from this column, and we certainly can't borrow from this one, so we're going to reduce this four by three, and then the one then moves across to this one. We're going to strike that one through, reduce that to a 9. Then the one that we've taken from this, we're going to put it there. And now what we can do is we can then reduce that one and write that one next to the 3. So 13 subtract 4, well, that gives me 9. And then 9 subtract 3 is 6. 9 subtract 2 is 7. And 3 subtract 1 is 2. And then 1 subtract nothing is 1. And so the answer to this one is 12,769. Right, and then if we have a look at example number four, okay, so two subtract one is one. Nine subtract eight, well, that's one. Four subtract five, again, this is one we can't do now. So we're going to set up this chain of borrowing. So you know you're going to have to set up a chain when you see lots of zeros. So strike the fast, strike the six, six through, put my teeth in, strike the six through, that reduces to a five. The one that we've taken then lives there, that becomes a ten. We're now going to reduce that one by one to make that a nine. And then the one is going to live there. We can now reduce this one by one. And then the 10 can be used there. So 14 take away five, that gives me a nine. Nine take away six is three. And then nine take away nothing is nine. And five take away nothing is five. Okay, so, so that gives us an answer of 593,911. Right, so like always, those are your practice questions. Put into practice what you've just learned. With question one, two, and three, you're going to have to set up your column method there. So have a go at those, and then have a look at the answer walkthrough when you've done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.